Hey, what's up, guys? Scout Feature, and welcome to a brand new series called Scout for Deals. But basically, I'm going to show you some of the best deals I've got during the deal I did trading. And um, I spent up three hours trading earlier on, and there's also two deals at the end that I picked up and um, prefer in the week. So basically, guys, here's my method that I use. Just so you know, I basically bang it on gold minimum 150, maximum 150. Scroll to the 59th minute, well, about the 50th to the 60th, uh, the 50th to the 59th, sorry. And um, you seem to find loads of like, informs that have just been put up there. Be careful for price bumpers and stuff like that, obviously. Um, but yeah, you just I, I just add them to watch list. Go find out the prices and I go bid on them. And um, this is a good way to actually pick up some bargains, as you'll see. Um, I picked up quite a few in this episode, and um, yeah, you're gonna see how it's done. So basically, um, when I did this, it was prime time, so it was like it took ages to get to the fifth and a half minute. But like I, when it's like not around that time, it's um, fine. You can get like to the fifth and a half minute about 50 odd pages. As you can see, guys, picked up. Lo there's loads of informs that you can just um, add to your watch list. But now we're going to get into the actual trades of the episode. So first of all, we've got Tony Cruz first inform and the Coutinho. We picked up the Cruz for 33k, and we picked up the Coutinho for 62,000. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go search the market for the cheapest. I'm only showing you an example for Cruz, but I did do it for all of them. Um, it just makes it easier. I mean, it makes your um, things sell quicker because you just undercut them. You know, you'd be a little dick undercut them so you can get your sale quick. Um, so if I knew I'm going to make profit, I'm obviously going to want a quick sale. Um, so I may as well undercut them, and then we're sure this cruise will sell. Sadly, the Coutinho does not sell first time. I did have to go check uh, what it went for, um, but obviously I skipped that bit out. Um, so we do end up listing him. For uh, around 80k, but sadly he does not sell for that, as you will soon see. So moving on, Tony Cruz did manage to sell for around 45k, which is quite a nice profit. I left us about 9k profit on him, which is really nice. Coutinho didn't sell, so I dropped his price to around 75k, um, which he did go and sell for, as you can see on the screen right now. After this, guys, we're gonna go and pick up some more players. So let's get to the next clip. And as you can see, guys, we picked up a Jose Enrique for twenty-three thousand. We picked up a Balmont for thirty thousand, and we picked up a Man of the Match Fred for thirty thousand as well. So we went to go check the prices. Obviously, I just skipped that bit out. And um, we end up putting um, Jose Enrique up. He doesn't sell sadly, and um, not on the first attempt, not on the second attempt. But on the third attempt, he does sell, but sadly that is not in this episode. That will be put into the next episode. There are two players that don't sell from this episode, which I will put them into the start of the next episode. That's if this goes down well and you want some more. Um, so anyway, Balmon, I checked his price and I was like pretty disappointed. Um, I didn't realise how low he was. and must have got a bit excited when bidding for him. So um, sadly, um, he only gets us a little bit of profit, but he does sell. So it's all good. The man match Fred does not sell the first time, sadly. Um, but he does second time round. As you can see, we've got a uh, Balmont um, who sold, and we, then we went and picked up some more players. So the players we picked up was Inform Higuain, first Inform. Sadly, I thought it was his second Inform, so I went a bit over the top on the bidding. Um, so we only get a little profit off him if he sells, which he wants to till the next episode. Next up, guys, we've got Inform Sheila, and once again, I went a bit over the top on the bidding, but we do still sell him and we do make a profit on him. And finally, as you can see, we've got the Inform. Um, guy, I'm only going to say Lee because that's the first um, thing I can see on his name. Um, we just quick sell him. We've, I, I, I couldn't be bothered to try and sell him. I didn't know why I bidded on him. But we just quick sold him anyway. As you can see, guys, Andre Scherler sold for 90k. Only gave us a tiny profit, but nothing too much to complain about. Still a bit of profit. And uh, we've also got Jose Enrique, as I said, doesn't sell first time. Man match Fred, watch how quick this one sells. We lower it a bit, we've still got loads of profit. Sells instantly. It must have been an auto buy or something. It like went like in second I pressed up um second I listed it, it just went instantly. Um must have been an auto buy or something. Next up guys, this is a deal I got yesterday, Hugo Campionaro. Um this is the only one I recorded from yesterday. Um but it's a pretty nice deal. Just checking for the prices right now, just picked him up on the market for ninety one K, which was a really nice profit. Um, as you will see, we're going to go ahead and list him for around 115k, and uh, well, I will eventually. You know, I'm just commenting over this, waiting for me to list it. Come on, keep going. Yep, that's it. Go on, one five, five. Yep, nice. Right, going to go ahead and list him, and he is going to sell for that price as well, giving us a very nice profit. So we're getting into a bit bigger profit now. Um, so as you can see, sell for 115k. Which was left us with good profit. We'll see in the totals at the end how much um, we get from that. And we've also got the best deal um, that I've done this week. Um, you may remember Proto from my squad builder. I didn't think I'd make a profit on him, but I thought, screw it, we may as well take a risk and we'll go and list him very high. 
I knew he was rare, so I thought there's never many on the market, so I may as well go for it. So that's what I did. We ended up listing him at 130, 120, no, 325k. Sorry, didn't sell first time sadly, so we lifted him again. This time for 321k, which as you can see on the screen right now, he did sell for. So that left us with a nice profit of around 60 odd k which um, was very nice. So guys, we're going to go into totals in a second, so you can see the totals for the episode. We did make over 100k in this episode, which was very nice. Guys, if you want me to continue this um, as a series, please let me know in the comments below. If you can hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. If this is the best video you've seen of mine, please do subscribe. And guys, thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.